Yo, yo, what's good fam? It is your boy Artisan Brian and today I'm going to show you shaping sourdough, proofing it on the couche and baking it at home. You already know. So, you can see the dough, it's nice and bubbly and if you get some big bubbles you can chop them, chop them up, um, applying a lot of tension here. This dough was pre-shaped um, after a five hour bulk fermentation. You can see it's very, very healthy, very active. I'll show you a couple shapes here. It's uh, the same shape I do. I just flip uh, over both sides, then I rotate it. Um, give it a couple of pat, pat down, um, pats down. Sorry to degas it a little bit, and then uh, apply tension with the outside of my fingers. And yeah, I got a nice tight dough. Whenever you're proofing on a couche, uh, very important you get some good tension to make sure your dough doesn't spread out. Um, if you're using a banneton or a basket, it's fine. Obviously, those. Um, are more forgiving uh, when it comes to shaping, but the couche will not forgive you if your shaping is not what it needs to be. Um, <laughs> so yeah, hopefully um, that uh, helps. You can also check out uh, the slow motion shaping video that I put up on my Instagram that kind of shows that same shaping technique. Um, but yeah, here we go. Here's the couche. Here is the couche. I don't have any rice flour right now um, because flour is very hard to find in these times. But, you know, I'm using some whole wheat flour uh, on the couche because it's uh, a little bit coarse and it will not stick uh, or burn as badly in the oven, in my humble opinion. So, yeah, your boy is putting six. This is a sheet pan. Um, it fits in the home oven, a sheet pan that fits in your fridge. And I put the kush on top of it, and I put six loaves at a time. Um, and here's my magic trick. <laughs> here's my secret weapon, you know what I'm saying? It is a rolling pin. You put the rolling pin on the side there to make sure that there is some additional pressure and structure uh, applied to the kush. So, yeah, that's the trick. There they are. They go into the fridge for about 15 hours, um, you know, 12 to 15 hours, 10 to 10 to 12 hours, whatever it is that you, you're, you're going to be able to do. I always, I always shoot for about 15 hours, um, and you can find the recipe for this in my sourdough guide on my blog. Um, yeah, so here we go. It's time to bake our sourdough. It's what everyone wants. So I have the Challenger bread pan there. It's been preheating in the oven for about 45 minutes maybe less maybe longer um, definitely the longer you preheat the better because it will be super duper super super hot um, for your bake so here we go I use some parchment paper um, as you can see here I've got some parchment squares got a little bit of semolina or corn flour whatever you need to use just to add some additional texture and prevent the bottoms from getting scorched um, so I flip it out with the peel um, that 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 peel actually comes with the bread pan um, and then I give it a quick score nothing fancy very you, you know when you're scoring you just got to be confident you know what I'm saying? You got to make sure that you are not fearful of your dough. Everything's going to be fine. Um, and yeah, that's it. That's loaf number two. I'm baking three at a time. So if you got three cast irons by any chance, or three bread pans, or one, uh, it's fine. Uh, I happen to just bake a lot of bread. <laughs> you know, I might be baking more bread than you guys. Um, so yeah, here we go. Last loaf for this batch. Um, added a little bit of semolina onto the peel just to make sure it doesn't stick. Um, these were seam side down, by the way. Seam side down. Um, <laughs> so here we go. Got the last one loaded in. Uh, another quick score. Um, a tip if you have a gas range of it, a gas range stove, put some cutting boards on there so that you're not scraping against the metal of your stove. Um, definitely very, very helpful. Uh, here we go. Now, it is uh, 25 minutes later. I put them in the oven. I turn the heat down to 475. Um, and after 25 minutes, you can see the steam escaping there. That's why we're taking off the lids. Um, and we've got a beautiful little mid-bake shot here. I am very, very happy with these guys. They are lovely. They're great. I can't wait to eat them because that's what I'm going to do with them. Uh, 15 more minutes. Uh, tw 15 to 20 more minutes and we've got a b b b b beautiful color here. I was actually, man, I mean, the color was just phenomenal. I love dark bread and I made some dark bread. Uh, caramelized crust, super straight up, fabulous and delicious, man. I, I hope you guys enjoy 
watching this, um, you know, inside look into the home baking process in terms of shaping, proofing, and baking. Nothing complicated, guys. I don't do anything that complicated. It's not. It is bread. It is rustic bread. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy whatever bread that you're making at home. Holla at your boy. Holla at your boy. Peace.